Hey guys, I'm here and I've made quite a few videos so far and I just want to show you a video of um, eight must-have things um, you to be a true guinea pig owner, things you need and things that guinea pigs will need and stuff. So the first one, you of course you need your guinea pig, preferably two, because having two is a lot better than having one. Because if you have one, it'll get lonely unless you hold it 24-7, which you can't because you'll have to go to work or something or go to the shops or something. Um, and because if you have two, um, they can play together. But if they don't like each other, maybe um, split up the cage or something or buy another cage. But... Um, don't put a girl, if you put a girl and a boy together, they'll have babies. And if having two guinea pigs, they'll be happy. And, um, but you'll have to clean the cage more often. But that's better than having a, guinea, um, a dead guinea pig because it would be dead of loneliness. loneliness. The second thing you need is definitely you'll need food and water. Um, your guinea pigs will die without it. So the food they need is pellets. Um, you, have, you should just keep the guinea pig on the brand of pellets, um, in the same pellets they're on usually. And, um, you'll need vegetables and fruit, fruit a couple times a week, um, vegetables, um, it depends what sort, and I've made a video of that. Um, you need water, of course, you need a 500ml, I use 500ml ones, and I have four bottles of water. So, um, and in summertime, I recommend putting a couple or one or two ice cubes in their water if it's boiling. And um, if it's really hot in summertime, get a two litre milk bottle, um, clean it out very well, fill it up with water, put the lid on, make sure it's really tight, put it in the freezer, and then put it in the um, right till it freezes, put it in the cage, and they can lay on it um, in summertime with end drink or the condensation. The second thing you'll need, you can't see it very well, but you need a cage, which is a hut. You need a cage because where else would they live? There's nowhere else they could live. Um, you could use cage grids that you can buy from Target and stuff um, with fleece. Um, yeah, cage. Um, you, you should get a two-story one. For two guinea pigs, um, and if you have one guinea pig, which you shouldn't, just get a one story cage or something. And for two guinea pigs, the cage should be two story about that. I have one about that. I have a pretty big one. Oh, it's small, it's medium size. Um, yeah. And then you'll, they'll need, of course, they'll need their bedding. You can use bedding, you can have. Wood shavings, hay, or fleece. Um, I use um, fleece and wood shavings, and I put hay in a hay rack usually. Um, you need bedding because you can't just put them on wood because they can, it'll get all gross and stuff in it. If they wear on the wood, then it'll go moldy. And they'll need hiding places. They need a couple hiding places. Because they like to hide, um, they're having a hiding place because they, they have fun around it and sometimes they walk on the top of their smart, like one of my guinea pigs, and they go inside of it and they have a lot of fun. Um, accessories, like food bowls, water bottles and toys. Um, get a couple water, food bowls because they're good. Get a couple water bottles and they, they should have some toys. Um, I have another video of how to make a toy roll so that's you can just make homemade toys if you don't have the money or something to get bought toys because they're quite expensive and I forgot to say you can um for the food and water for the food you can make homemade treats which I do I do carrot and cucumber treats for them and pizza treats that I'm going to make a video of they'll need nail clippers and yours can do fine because it's the exact same but you should use the little ones of yours if you're using yours. And just cut, cut, cut the tips of their nails. Um, so, um, you'll need guinea pig manual. But you've already got that covered. So, this is a guinea pig manual. 
And, um, th this is a guinea pig manual. Yeah, you see. And that's, um, so, that's the eight must-have things to be a true guinea pig owner. I hope you liked my video and listened to it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. I hope you like my video.